When we strategize over how understanding is developed around a new concept, it's important to consider how meaning is made from the perspective of the learner. Whether designing an approach with others in mind or working to understand the structure of our own personal learning, the work of literacy theorist Dr. Brian Camborn can provide a framework that fosters effective meaning making. Dr. Camborn identifies eight conditions that contribute to the success of a learner. Immersion. The learner needs to be fully immersed in the content they are trying to relate to. Demonstration. The learner needs to receive multiple demonstrations of how concepts are employed. Expectation. The learner needs to possess both an understanding of what they are expected to achieve and a belief that they are capable of meeting those expectations. Responsibility. The learner is empowered when they have agency over what elements of a concept to learn, when they want to learn them, and how they choose to employ those concepts and skills. Employment. The learner needs opportunities to use and experiment with concepts and real-world environments on their own time. Approximation. The freedom to get it almost right is essential to fostering growth in the learning process. Response. Feedback from external sources and feedback that is self-corrective best supports the learner when it is frequent, constructive, and provides an actionable path forward. And most importantly, engagement. Direct and willful interaction with the process and the material. Engagement is essential to the success of each of the other seven conditions. It's most supportive when the learner views themselves as capable of doing what is asked of them, understands how the concept or skill will add value to their lives, and feels comfortable to get it almost right. Whenever we describe a new idea, it's inevitable that information is presented in some sort of order. But it's important to recognize that this model is not confined to a linear or sequential structure. For example, immersion doesn't have to precede responsibility. Employment can take place both before and after feedback response. The learning process can begin when any condition is present and each unique circumstance may benefit from a different pattern of learning conditions. Where an experientially focused learner may gravitate toward introductions that begin with approximation and engagement, a learner with a more theoretical inclination may prefer to approach a new concept by establishing an expectation and receiving a clear demonstration before being asked to approximate a result. When sufficient time for careful preparation is available, any teaching curriculum can be strengthened by ensuring that each condition Camborn identifies is met. And the knowledge that individual learners can often prioritize certain conditions in place of others can provide helpful guidance. It gives the educator freedom to embrace flexibility within the confines of easily employed structures, which you'll notice is the same freedom that it affords to the learner. We'll take the time to visit each of these natural conditions independently. But here's something about this theory that is important to recognize. The value of this system is in no way limited to formal curriculum or a specific discipline. The exploration of any concept or the persuasion toward any idea can benefit from incorporating as many natural conditions of learning into an explanation as fit the circumstance of an interaction. Whether that means orienting a client toward a choice in their best interest, educating a jury toward a more informed opinion, helping a patient process a difficult diagnosis, or, as Dr. Camborn began, 
enriching childhood literacy, natural conditions of learning can quickly become indispensable tools toward your communicative success.